So let's enjoy Okada Sensei's, uh, po Professor Okada's uh, philosophy, his Nietzsche, his way, and his thinking. So uh, today, Professor Okada will give us the lecture named by uh, field based uh, conceptualization, re examining uh, perspectives and road mapping for exploring I dream uh, research ho horizons. Another inter in integrative um, modeling efforts. Okay, Okada Sensei, this is my brief introduction. Now I'm passing the mic to you. Thank you, Johnson, for your excellent introduction, kind introduction. Uh, let me just share uh, the screen. Can you see this slide? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is a wonderful occasion for me to give uh, the first lecture. Okay, <clears throat> my great honor. I'm going to talk about uh, the theme uh, uh, within 15 minutes, I guess. My uh, first uh, the deep uh, message here is that do we, particular I dream researchers, really think and think? And can we get out of our own box? Here, to me, uh, to think, I mean, uh, not just think uh, in a standard manner or in, in our own scientific uh, disciplinary area, we have some way to follow on. That's the way we professionals have to think. But we also need to be a little bit uh, out of the box and think in a little bit more co uh, creative manner. That is what it's really needed by integrity, disaster risk ma management uh, endeavors. It's a price to anyone, young people or like uh, me, senior guys. So my first message is uh, for the Pope's advanced in I dream research and practice, conceptualization should also be regarded as a broadened sense of modeling or theorization at the meta level, so up a level higher or beneath the ground. And this works for comprehensive, integrative thinking and knowledge sharing. And my focus is to explain and demonstrate how field-based ex experiences help us virtually condense the notion of holistic agenda as felt, conceived, and derived from the real living ground. Message two, my 30 decade long field practices <coughs> have made me confident that even if these conceptualization outcomes are largely grounded on and limited to the realities and local specifics, we could strategically divide them to apply more to common cases. A careful and repeated examination and transboundary comparative efforts should be conducted together by researchers, experts, administrators, residents, NGOs, etc., all from different disciplines, countries, and cultures. Message three, local field-based conceptual models have potential to be more generalized to overarch the local specifics. And this helps us develop a roadmap for discussing what we commonly share and mutually complement. And here are some of my or our conceptual and or process oriented methodology frameworks we have so far developed. That includes the implementation gap model, octopus model, beta system model, and smart governance under persistent disruptive stresses or persistent PDSs. Now, K Station Field Campus Classifica system and zero to one movement dynamics. 
I will skip most of them. Uh, maybe a bit, little bit touching upon a smart governance and zero to one movement dynamics later. So what I'm going to focus today are uh, the following conceptual models, which are actually mutually interrelated very much. A, pagoda model, five-story pagoda model. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. And B, young mankind system method and because model, because process model and communicative space model. And this is where everything started from Chizotori, Japan, my fieldwork based uh, endeavors started this way around mid 1980s. I joined the citizen group called the CCPT, which is a creative project team, who came to see me when I was just say, starting my very honorable job to create, uh, set up uh, what is called uh, social systems engineering department at uh, Total University. That was also a very challenging yeah, attempt. And I was the first professor to do this. Overhearing this news, the leader came and challenged me. Oh, you look, what you're doing look like very interesting, but why don't, don't you come and really show us how your theoretical ideas might work, not just at the desk, but the yeah, real practices. Okay, I took the challenge, which has been continuing till now. Mid 1980s, I joined the citizen group called CCPT, she's a creative project team to advise, but well, maybe not the right way, advice, maybe to support them, or more precisely, to learn together with them adaptively. Not just to teach, but not just to tell them uh, top down, but just to learn together with them adaptively. Uh, I hope it works. Uh, here's uh, some uh, website. I, uh, well, some uh, Chinese guys might, might somehow figure out what's written here. But sort of say this Chizu town uh, is uh, a well-known place for uh, excellent quality of cedar tree timber. Uh, way, way back uh, in the days, uh, maybe uh, almost 100 years ago, and uh, at that time, it took already 400 years to grow such a uh, high quality of cedar tree. So it's already a good brand for this cedar tree. But, but, well, uh, Okay. By the time I started to join them, I hope it all works. Okay. Uh, there's another website. Okay. Uh, just give you an idea. This, this. Yes. Maya, can you just hold Is this okay? Okay, so uh, I hope you can somehow figure out what it looks like. Uh, this is the map, and uh, this is a cheese town, and uh, the railway goes this way, all the way up to north, northern coast, the city capital of Total Prefecture. And this is the, uh, the major basin here, and the center of this Total Town is somewhere here. Uh, no, no, uh, Chizu Town is here, and there is another tributary going this way, and sub tributary going this way, another sub sub tributary is going this way. This is the place where I was invited to work together with them. And uh, well, they it developed into a kind of public park, natural public work uh, later. 
and known as uh, Cedar Tree uh, Village uh, Project, so to speak. Okay, but uh, the point is that say the point when I I started to work with them. Uh, see the town was already very very declining uh particularly in terms of uh, cedar tree uh timber any more uh, uh say attracting a lot of um, uh, big markets and losing its momentum okay now so the champion and the team uh people uh started to do this way let us get out of uh, our home community meet people there differently creatively and repeat the meeting over and over and in retrospect this became the prototype of what we may now call communicative space and the space gets nurtured and activated as we people meet more we people met uh, more creatively and the space could take the form of a physical one, but necessarily always a physical one. But it works when a symbolic creation and a simple model structure means a lot. They started to talk about a lot of things, uh, uh, discussions or expressing their worries. I was listening to them and start to keep record of what they were saying about. So put them together later, I kept them categorized this way. Uh, okay, for instance, say nature issues, uh, insiders' views and outsiders' views are different. Sometimes uh, meet together, but very different sometimes. For instance, nothing special except for nature, forest, water, soils, and landscapes, beautiful, but that's all. How can we identify its hidden value and that outsiders appreciate the value? Outsiders like me, and also I started to involve many other academics there. So you have such rich nature, but not well rec uh, recognized. And, and this uh, such kind of things are not well taken care of. And everything is uh, rebuilt to co concrete facilities. Why not make use of more cedar tree? And even small streams are covered with cement. You look like urban atmosphere. Or regarding social norms and culture and conventions, insiders were saying this way, very conservative and no motivation to change. How can we fight with such a high wall? Most of village people are just sleeping and uninterested in any change. Outsiders um, are making these uh, remarks. We cannot see such diffusive and shaped things from outside. We don't understand what you're talking about as social norms and cultures. Please express your concerns. We need a common language to communicate together. And let us evolve more people who have experienced living outside. And you should take the initiative as you are awakened at least. Similar infrastructure issues. Inside us, oh, we are now happy. We can now drive to meet so often here at such a deep upstream place that was not possible two decades ago. We have now good highways, rivers, concrete, and we'll be having a tunnel planned to reach the opposite side of this small, deepest valley. Yes, we also have good roads to reach deep into forest. It looks like not easy to maintain them, however. Outside us made remarks. Yes, I can also drive to this place that is wonderful. I'm afraid to see concrete covered streams, the damaged local landscape. Mm. Why not more intact? Do we really need the tunnel? When is the project to be started? What about landslides and floods? Too much uncontrolled earth moving works may add more disaster risks. Built environment and land use, inside us, were saying this way. We need a basis to meet together. We have built this as a temporary base, and let us use cedar tree and build a cottage. Let us develop a new village 
later named the Siga village by attracting people outside. And can we engage village people nearby? They're also making such kind of a say, uh, comment. We have uh, more uh, big uh, old houses being abandoned, vacant, or right. big problem. Outsiders say this way, I'm afraid the city cottage is so shabby and bad quality. You should build a high quality cottage by making use of local city timber. I propose to invite free of charge some local builders from Canada. That's what I did. You should also link to the neighboring communities, the Mikaki and restaurant, a Japanese uh, vegetable restaurant in the forest. So it's a wonderful asset. Water mills and river harvesting would add value to the landscape. But we eventually come to this. Before that, we need vision and goal. Inside us, we need a slogan and symbolic master column to build up our new community structure. Our slogan is to let us build up together the Cedar Village Tower, Tower for betterment of life. Outsiders say, please discuss this openly. We call it a vision or goal. Okay, so vision or goal. Let us say this way. Let us explore on the idea of the new community structure. Excellent. Maybe I propose a five-story pagoda model. So that's how you know the five-story pagoda came out and started to uh, build up on this ground, literally and also virtually. If we intend to reinterpret the whole ideas. Uh, thoughts here put up there into the most updated notion of SDGs. We are then building up the modest pagoda as follows. So, uh, natural environment, underground and culture convention, and social norms, and infrastructure, and land use and environment and life in community activity. And you need the column, master column. Maybe here, the cedar tree village. There's a pagoda model. And as you go up, it changes more quickly. As you go down, nature changes so slowly, sometimes extraordinarily well, rapidly. Small and solid, modest and mixed. Adaptive and active, anticipatory, retrospect, uh, responsive and transformative. That makes smart, smart governance. So, smart governance idea <coughs> by Okada myself as a strategic framework for enhancing coping capacity of the community. Yes, it has it this way. It goes back and forth to transform make a small change every time. And it goes spirally upward, the spiral dynamics of transformation. And actually, the way they have a read on is like this. And very interestingly, uh, this corresponds very well to what we now call SDG uh, 17 yeah, uh, uh, targets, where to put, put on. And they're also so complicatedly inter, uh, well, interrelated. Of course, it depends on how you well, perceive and how you wish to change your pagoda, mod, uh, pagoda uh, building or your community. But anyway, this works well. And the master column is sustainability. OK, so 15, 17 slogans. But they need to be more integrated. Because sustainability actually means the totality of this. OK. In Chizu, zero to one movement, come, uh, the idea was proposed. And actually, based upon my uh, conceptual model, uh, 
well, the community people liked this idea and named this project uh, Zero to One Movement uh, Project. In Chizu, Zero to One communicative spaces have been strategically nurtured and fermented. Let me just uh, make a small comment here. Uh, communicative space could be somehow close to what Western people may call a participatory platform, but it's more than that. It's not just sort of say, physically sit there and never changes, but it grows, 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 or it can start from almost nothing. Also, such kind of say, uh, library uh, vital dynamics are there. Okay, so pagodas have adaptive ground also. And community coping capacity has been has been enhanced. There are stage zero to stage four, stage zero pre zero to one movement period from mid 1980s through mid 1990s, and stage one another decade, stage two another decade, and stage four we are now underway. And from stage one uh, uh, to stage two. Uh, well, they asked uh, some, uh, well, prospective uh, villages to make a proposal and get them certified. But they were requested to here say launch a, a community association for the project. And then they get uh, approved and they get granted uh, by a modest subsidy from the town. First, uh, it started stage one. It was more so say village point, point village community. Then it extended to um, a valley wide federation, so to speak. And stage four, we are now underway. It's without such kind of projects and services, the people are now doing it more naturally. Your main kind of system uh, method was also introduced. And uh, uh, it has been continuously implemented and improved. It works well to set up a dynamic common ground, communicative space, and originally developed in pre 021 period. And they improved to promote more open and uh, free discussions and dialogue, and even to start from an almost zero basis, which I call the process of be there and excite, enjoy and empathize because uh, process model. Yes, one example, cheese uh, uh, challenge by use of ISM, so village community at the say point level community, they made this uh, 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 10 year plan by making use of your mankind system method. Here, as you can see the YSM human kind system chart. Uh, I skip uh, the details. Another decade, uh, it uh, got uh, well upgraded to uh, Valley, entire Valley uh, version. The Yamasato area, they introduced this participant method again, but uh, Valley wide. Otherwise, they invited people from outside uh, and did uh, some sort of preliminary process. And they let people also interview local people. So this is more of a preliminary process, which I call a be there process. And then shift more to just to uh, say, uh, do something together. And then they made it really happen. That will include the uh, decision to launch uh, was a valid wide federation of the community association. Well, this is just to illustrate uh, uh, the YSM system chart. It's a square uh, and uh, it, it could be sort of a two meter, two meter white sheet. You can use it. And uh, each side, people are signed. And uh, one is more money and value uh, resource. Another is uh, more information knowledge or, or so human logistics or physical logistics. Each sub, sub plan should be made by people who are assigned to each site. 
and let them work together and come to the central place where you put up the vision or the slogan. And it's sort of a three stage uh, plan. Uh, and so immediately and next and the final to it. So preliminary process is like be there and enjoy and then move to this human kind of system chart based yeah, collaborative uh, uh, YSM development. That includes debating or debating across or changing uh, roles. So it's like in a game, you can enjoy people. Uh, yeah, and people can enjoy the whole process. And if they, if you end up with it as if you're owning the whole process and the whole, whole action plan. Well, uh, this is uh, in a way built into this uh, YSM system. And uh, the upper side is what I call be there and enjoy the next site. And another is more, uh, more uh, standard one, starting with uh, credible awareness, understanding solution ex execution. This is actually, uh, this actually uh, corresponds to Rowan's uh, model of uh, risk of communication. And the upper side is added. I propose to call it B plus uh, CAU cause model, so B cause model. And uh, it's a, a sort of cyclic and spiral process to balance the two correcting dynamics. Tarocho Miyako City, Iwate, Japan, you may know that this is uh, one of the famous places uh, where so the, the Eastern Japan earthquake tsunami hit. So or largely and devastated in that area entirely. So the uh, my colleague uh, Iwate, uh, University of Iwate, well approached that area and set up a kind of uh, remote yeah, uh, lo uh, laboratory station and let people come to this place, uh, let them meet, 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 and maybe later they could start something. So there was a sort of say entering process of uh, be there and empathize, the preliminary process works very well. So this is the uh, remote station set up there that involved local people engaged in these kinds of things. Oh, we need this newsletter. Maybe that's who, that's what we should do it. And we made it by making use of ISM. Great. Finally, they made another version. Modest Bonfire Festival was realized. One half a year later than the event of the Eastern Japan earthquake. That vitalized people there, build back better. Okay, uh, finally, let me just share with you uh, this version, which I presented actually yesterday. I was invited to um, make a short speech at the SRI, well, uh, conference. And this is about transdisciplinary approach and which needs communal space. For enhancing coping capacity. But this uh, introduced the case of Merapi, Indonesia. Here, let me just uh, define more rigorously what I mean by uh, design of communicative space or ba no design in, in Japanese. And stage zero, knowing and sharing concerns, let some initial takers get out of one's home or community, one's normal mode and start to meet differently or creatively and repeatedly do so on a small mother scale. And welcome others from inside and outside and think and talk about concerns and exchange dialogues, enjoy and become enthusiastic, nurture trust relationships. That may gradually uh, lead you to another uh, stage, working together 
switch to, switch to the mode of working together to agree on a goal or vision to develop a collaborative action plan, which needs to be workable and small and modest enough to start with, to actually do it and do it over. And to monitor and divide the actions and to archive the whole plan, do check action process in a spiral dynamic manner, which I call a smart governance. And design of clinical spaces have, has this state three also. This is the process of formalizing and officializing the whole process and space, switch to the mode of getting committed to outside of the space and legitimated, or keep extending the space and network with other communicative spaces. For instance, the zero to one movement projects uh, uh, requests each uh, prospective uh, yeah, community to first uh, launch some community association. This was a kind of a legitimate uh, communicative space. They were asked to get committed. To. Okay, uh, gives you some, uh, to give you some idea of how communicable space could be extended networks. I take the example of the case of, uh, well, uh, the real case uh, sponsored by JICA, a Japanese overseas aid pro, uh, agency, uh, together with Ministry of Public Works Indonesia. Uh, the uh, late 2006, I was uh, approached by this Minister of Public Works, Indonesia government officials, who visited me first. And uh, well, I guided them to a uh, local community area in the midst of Kyoto. This is an urban community where they are also doing a very interesting uh, uh, disaster reduction drill by their own. And they liked this uh, uh, practice very much, but they also witnessed how Yomenkan system works for them to set up more communicative spaces uh, that would uh, engage more people uh, to be involved. So they asked me, we'd like to invite you to come to Indonesia and maybe you could help me gain this uh, Jacob loan. And uh, I would like you to say also work together with the Indonesian researchers, Gajamata University people, and work together to introduce this uh, Yomenkan system for the purpose of uh, local communities uh, well, located at the outskirts of the Merapi, Mount Merapi uh, in Indonesia. And there was um, in a, uh, imminent risk of a uh, uh, big eruption. So they requested me to help them sort of say, start uh, doing some uh, voluntary yeah, efforts to evacuate and also solve some other miscellaneous issues. So this way it worked as this. Kyoto University Communicate Space links to, well, sort of say, uh, Engineering and Sociology Department guides at the Gajimada University, and then approach that then to local communities. This way, the communicable space is expanded and networked. It worked. YSM has been applied to get the mountain community prepared for the then imminent risk of mountain eruption. This just to give you some idea how the procedure went. It took about one uh, year to get them done. And they came up with this kind of real bias and chart action plan, committed, and they did it. Okay. And this is the Yomenkan system chart action plan. They get committed and they did it. So they did it. They repeatedly say evacuated. One year later, Mount Nerapi started to blast again. That is a very big one. And 350 people, uh, 53 people were killed during the eruptions. But luckily, no one were killed. 
from that community who which well got involved in this non-mechan system based practices lack so community cut space have worked for transformative and transdisciplinary research and transdisciplinary outcomes the communities that implement the whole process including self evacuations immediately evacuated and successfully saved their lives and an important piece of research paper was published in a good research paper as a transdisciplinary knowledge product one korean uh, a phd student who completed this work based upon his practices there and received a phd degree from kyoto university and the local professors at Gajamada University like this uh, uh, Yomengan system very much. So they volunteer to uh, make an uh, Indonesian version of uh, ISM guidance manual. Mm -hmm. Great. Overhearing this, the United Nations University based uh, in, in Tokyo, they approached us. We would like to introduce uh, this course. Please uh, help us well, to well, let people be aware and familiar with this uh, Yomengan system method. We really need it. Here are some references you may refer to later. You may also ask how much generalizable do they work for other areas or cultures? Yes, Pangoda model works for road mapping and urban diagnosis or build back better even before and then comprehensive policy <laughs> <defense. laughs> what and anyway so the 1995 hanshin awaji earthquake disaster happened and this was a flight niigata chuis earthquake disaster this was a flight Eastern Japan earthquake and tsunami disaster, this has applied, and many applications going on. And why is the model? I want to say Shuhachi Nakagyo, Kyoto, uh, this was introduced. And also Korea, Nepal, India, you name it. And communicative spaces. Native industrial park in Kyoto, a business continuity management in urban in Japan, we've done research where we show we have shown that uh, communicable spaces might work very well. This is the kind of work uh, done with Robert Gobel, Goi Han, and Kami Seo. So, we I Dream researcher should think more creatively. We should get out of our own box from time to time and conceptual models, models help the process together with a good I dream. You also need to dream about it together with to think about it. So think and dream together. <laughs>